Little ponies can do big things. Okay, today is the day of my first job on the Friendship Express train. Now I must practice my conductor skills. Don't want them to get rusty. Ticket puncher, check. Lantern, check. Conductor uniform on, check, check. Now time to practice my all aboard. Oi, 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 all aboard! Oh, and also the guard's whistle. Alright, I think I have everything. Now I must get going before I'm late. Gotta get going, mustn't be late. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Okay, sir, I'm here. Ah, Mr. Twinkle, my new employee. This is your first day on the job. Have you got everything? Yes, I do. I practice my all board. I have my whistle, and I have my uniform, and my lantern. I have everything a conductor needs. I'm ready and reporting for duty, Mr. Conductor, sir. Great, the train should be here any second now. Good luck, Mr. Twinkle. You too, Conductor. All aboard! Duh! Okay, first things first is to punch the passenger's tickets. How about you, good sir? Do you have your ticket? Yes, I do, conductor. Thank you, let me punch it for you. There you go, sir. Your ticket is punched. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I think I see some kids over there missing with some emergency cable, it looks like. What? Hey, you, that cable's for emergency purposes only. Ugh, punching those tickets and taking care of the passengers was hard work. At least I can get some good night sleep in this observation car till we get to the next stop. Ugh, what? We seem to be slowing down. Let me see what's going on. Ugh, what? How did the observation car get uncoupled? Well, at least things can't get any worse. And that's why I never say that, because things will always get worse. I must get my lantern ASAP. Okay, got my lantern. Let's stop your train ASAP. Oh, stop your train! Stop your train! Uh, I've been working. Huh? What's that I see down the track? Holy guacamole! That's a stallion stranded on an observation car. I must stop the train! It's not going to stop in time. I'm going to jump. I'm not going to stop this train in time. I must jump. <laughs> Boy, what a mess. <coughs> oh, is me. Hey man, are you okay? Yes, I'm alright, but why was there an observation car in the middle of the track in the middle of nowhere and caused this crash? I don't know. The first thing I knew, I was asleep in the observation car. The next thing I knew, we were slowing down. Then I realized we I was in the middle of nowhere, then your train came out of nowhere, and then this happened. Well, I guess we'll have no choice but to sit out here and wait for our help to come. Agreed. Please, Celestia, let help come. Ugh. 
<sighs> well, it's morning, and still no help has came. I hate it when I have to sleep in this grass. Look! Hey, you two, are you guys okay? Oh, oh thanks, thanks, Celestia, you're, you're here, here to the rescue, rescue us! Yeah, we heard about the crash, and we're here to rescue you two, and we'll clean it up immediately. Right now, let's get on board the train and get back to Equestrianville, and you guys can go home, yeah? Yeah, I just want to get home, because I don't feel so good right now after that wreck last night. <laughs> home. Who oh, is me? Hey, Daylight, I heard about that train crash you were in last night. Are you okay? I'm kind of injured after jumping off the observation car, but I've, I think I'll be okay as long as I get into my bed and give myself some medicine to help me heal back up. Okay, and by the way, Daylight, I found some new ponies that I think will make great friends. They're really nice guys, and here they are. Meet Sedgwick and Cody, our new friends. Hey there, Sedgwick and Cody. It's nice to meet you two. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh dear, are you okay? Eh, not so much. Last night, if, in case you haven't heard, there was a train wreck. Somehow, the observation car I was sleeping in, uncoupled, I woke up in the middle of nowhere, then I saw another train coming right at me, and me and the engineer jumped off, and the train, BOOM, crashed into the observation car, and now I don't feel so good, I'm a bit injured after jumping off. Sorry to hear about the crash you were in. Oh, it's no big deal, Cody. I'll be a o <coughs> a o <coughs> a o <coughs> Coughing's probably not a good sign. Yeah, I should really get inside my home before I damage my butt even more from the wreck. Unless if someone can give me a helping hand inside since I don't feel so well. Let's help you into your home. I agree, Cody. We should help him. Yeah, I'll help you too, Daylight. After all, I am your friend, good old Banjo. Oh, and also, just between you and me, when I first met Cody, he thought my banjo was a pickle, and that was kind of triggered. But, I let it slide, cause it kind of does look like a pickle. Heh <laughs> lol. Thank you guys for helping me get into my home, I hope I feel better soon so I can get back to work and enjoy my time in Equestrianville. Yeah, we can help a friend in need. Indeed. Yep, as they say, friendship is magic!